name's wrong, Mom. Poltergeist stars Sam Rockwell, Rosemary DeWalt, and is directed by Gail Keenan. Now this is the remake to the 1982 Poltergeist film, directed by Toby Hooper and written by Steven Spielberg and a few others. Now I love horror movies, but I'm not gonna front. I didn't see the original Poltergeist, but what I can tell you about this one, it wasn't good. Now this movie wasn't so bad that it was hard to sit through. It did have some fun moments, but you see, therein lies the problem. I'm watching a quote unquote horror movie thriller. I'm trying to be creeped out and scared, damn it. Now there were a few times where they had some classic horror movie tension, but they didn't hold that tension that long. They actually went into more of an action or even a comedy vibe. Quite unlike James Wan's 2013 hit, The Conjuring. Now without Xfinity Comcast or smart TVs, The Conjuring actually had a very similar premise to the poltergeist as far as ghosts going bump in the night. But where James Wan succeeded, Gil failed. For one, the family that we're watching here on screen doesn't even have any chemistry. For all I know, the father couldn't care less whether or not his daughter or son got taken into a parallel universe by some poltergeist. Two, I felt like the development of the poltergeist was rushed. I would have liked to have had a little bit more backstory as to why these ghosts were beefing in the first place. And again, I'll use The Conjuring as an example. We had plenty of backstory in that movie, which made for a better story overall and a scarier movie throughout. And three, maybe Maybe a little bit more of a side note, I'm not scared of clowns, but I know that there's a lot of people out there that are. And when you have a host of clowns in your movie that are kind of creepy looking and you're not really using those to the fullest, I think you're wasting an opportunity to scare the audience. Remember, you're making a horror movie. Your job is to scare us, not make us laugh and giggle because you want to have banter between the family members. This movie is not worth a trip to the theater. You can wait for this one on Redbox or video on demand. I'm gonna give Poltergeist a 1.5 out of 5. As always, I'd like to know what you thought about my review. Like, comment, subscribe. Other than that, I'm out.